Hello. So for today, there are four goals. You should be able to use significant digits or significant figures, round correctly, memorize the base SI dimensions, and know which units to change in a unit conversion. For the warm-up, we're doing some rounding. 3,025 to three significant digits. This is where you have to use the arcane rounding rule that Mr. P describes in the video. And so the answer is to actually round to the nearest even number, which means 3,020 is our answer. Uh, here we have to round to four significant digits, so our cut line should be between the four and the seven. One, two, three, four digits. And so this is 213.5. And here we only get one digit, so that's our one digit. And the five, three tells us what to do. It tells us to round up. For adding, we line up. We only get two significant digits because of this, and so we get our answer, we round, and we stay. For multiplication, we just multiply as usual, but we only get two digits because of this number. And so our cut line is here, and again, we stay. One, two digits, two digits. The zero is a placeholder. That's the warm up. Uh, for the scientific notation, scientific notation, just as a review, the number here has to be uh, greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10 times 10 to the exponent. And so for 1,450, you'd have to first put it in three significant figures, so it already is. Then you take the decimal point and move it, the number of spaces required to get it to be a number in between 1 and 10, like that. And then count those spaces. One, two, three spaces. That means you'd have to multiply this number by 10 three times to get it back to its original 1,450. And so you write 1.45 times 10 to the three. That's three significant figures and in scientific notation. And the rest of these are all the same. This, you get four significant figures. You'd have to move the place decimal point two times. This one, you actually have to move the decimal point to the right, which means to get it back to its original number from this, you would have to divide by 10, so negative one. This is already four significant digits and you don't have to do anything. It's already between one and 10, so multiply by 10 to the zero. Remember any exponent, sorry, any number raised to the zero power is just one. And here we have to write this fraction as a decimal with two significant digits. And then to change it from a number that's between one and 10 to its original number, we'd actually have to divide by 10. For the homework review, That's on day four. Base SI dimensions, you'll want to watch the video and copy this chart into your notes. And there are two questions here for you to think about, and that is the classwork, and then there's a video to watch for homework. We have a quiz next week, and that's it.